Spider-Man. Superman. Batman. Like all the classics. Batman. You know what I'm saying? Batman's dope. Man. Can't stand Batman. Spider-Man. Superman. Clark Kent. What are the consequences for women when they are strong and when they are the central actors of their own lives? And not content to be in the shadows and to be the supporting characters. the only female superhero, so she was irresistible. She was literally the only game in town. She believed that you didn't need a man to take care of you. She had her crush on Steve Trevor, but she didn't need him. He actually needed her. The early Wonder Woman are some of the most feminist stories in comics. When Wonder Woman emerged, women had to step out of the private sphere into the public sphere because we were at war. Women did things they had never done before. They made planes and they flew the planes and they became superheroines. But as soon as the war ended, all the guys wanted their jobs back and the women were sent back to the kitchen and suddenly there was a mass amnesia and no one remembered that women had ever been strong. With Wonder Woman, you begin to see her adventures turn more to romance. She spent many, many, many years not being a feminist character at all. It was like the perfect time for Wonder Woman to come back. And of course, when she came back, she came back in the new media, the media of the 70s, which was TV. They did not think that a woman could carry a show. Well, we proved them wrong and made a lot of money for the network, a lot of money. I loved Wonder Woman growing up. We twirled around and we thought that we might become Wonder Woman. In the 90s, we were being told that feminism didn't exist right as we found it starting with the Riot Girl movement. Girls who grew up with Wonder Woman and Charlie's Angels through punk rock music and handmade zines are taking the images that we grew up with and dissecting how they've influenced us as women. It's about making your own media. 